known for its military conquests and its lasting impact on Western civilization. Can you please name me uh, 10 most important uh, milestones of the Roman Empire? Sure. The ten most important milestones of the Roman Empire are Foundation of the Roman Republic, Punic Wars, Julius Caesar's Dictatorship, Pax Romana, Diocletian's Reforms, Constantine's Conversion to Christianity, Sack of Rome, Fall of Rome, Byzantine Empire's founding and its eventual collapse. Oh wow. Can you please tell me more about the Punic Wars? on Western civilization. The Punic Wars were a series of three wars fought between Rome and Carthage in the third and second centuries BCE. They were named after the Latin word for Carthaginian, Punicus. The wars ended with the complete defeat of Carthage and the establishment of Rome as the dominant power in the Mediterranean region. Let's dive into details of these wars. impact on Western civilization. The Punic Wars were a series of three wars fought between Rome and Carthage. The first Punic War began in 264 BCE when Rome, seeking to expand its influence, became involved in a dispute on the island of Sicily. Rome eventually emerged victorious in this and the subsequent Second and Third Punic Wars, establishing itself as the dominant power of the Mediterranean world. Can you tell me more about the Carthage? What this city was famous for? Carthage was a powerful city-state located in what is now Tunisia, North Africa. It was founded in the 9th century BCE and grew into an important trading center with a powerful navy and a rich culture. It is perhaps most famous for its series of wars with Rome, known as the Punic Wars. Was there any famous people in this city? Impact. Carthage was home to many famous historical figures, including the generals Hannibal and Hasdrubal, and the philosopher Mago. Hannibal, in particular, is famous for leading Carthage's armies during the Second Punic War, and for famously crossing the Alps with elephants to attack Rome. And what about Archimedes? Archimedes was a famous Greek mathematician, physicist, and engineer who lived in the city of Syracuse, which was a Greek colony in Sicily. He made important contributions to the fields of geometry, calculus, and mechanics, and he is famous for his principle of buoyancy and for his work on levers. Wasn't he killed by Romans?
Yes. Unfortunately, Archimedes was killed by a Roman soldier during the Siege of Syracuse, which occurred during the Second Punic War. It is said that Archimedes was so engrossed in studying a mathematical problem that he didn't even notice the soldier enter the room. Tell me more about the inventions of Archimedes. Sure, Archimedes made many important inventions, including the Archimedes screw, which was a type of pump that could be used to move water uphill, and the claw of Archimedes, which was a type of crane that was used to lift heavy objects. A crane? Interesting. Yes, the Claw of Archimedes was a machine that used a crane-like arm with a grappling hook to lift heavy objects, like ships, out of the water and onto land. It was designed to be used in naval warfare, and it was said to be very effective. It's amazing what people were able to invent so long ago. That's true. Do you think there were any inventions that were lost? and were actually useful. Yes, it's entirely possible. There are many instances throughout history where great inventions have been lost or forgotten. It's a shame, because who knows what kind of amazing technologies we could have today if only we had access to all the knowledge that has been lost over the centuries.